My name is Cliff Zentgraff. I attended the PhD in Learning Technologies program, graduated in December of 2016, and I am now the Chief Learning Officer at SAMSAT, the San Antonio Museum of Science and Technology. So after graduation, I didn't really have any specific plans. I was already doing work that I, that was very interesting to me. I was doing innovation and entrepreneurship training for a place called the IC Squared Institute at the University of Texas at Austin that was sending me around the world uh, to work with entrepreneurs. And then previously, I was an entrepreneur myself working in the STEM education field. And I had started to study the connection between STEM education and the underlying learning methodologies and how that relates to the regional development of cities, which is something the IC Squared Institute had researched for many years and cared a lot about. So I was already working on that front and entered the program really to develop my capabilities in that area, more so than looking for a new position. So for a student who is about to graduate, uh, you know, one thing is to look back at your original goals and think about whether those goals still apply for you or not. A number of my colleagues in the program had entered because they were interested in moving beyond whatever their current role was. They might have been a teacher or administrator in K-12 perhaps, or, or a professor administrator in a university. And they were looking to stay with the university perhaps. And a number of them have done that. Uh, I have one colleague in mind in particular who uh, became an assistant professor and is now in a great position for her, something that she really looked to do. Uh, in my own case, I had already been studying an area that was of interest to me, which is how K-12 education and, is, and especially STEM education connects to regional economic development and was already in a position that was helping me advance that and was involved with nonprofits uh, that I had helped start where I could continue that work. So I, I think the general advice I would offer to any graduate is to think about fit. Uh, you know, think about what you do and uh, what kind of work you'd like to do, what kind of lifestyle you'd like to have, and look for something that is a great fit for you. Uh, that, that will really serve you well. So the program at UNT helped prepare me, not, not really for a new role, as I mentioned, but for uh, the role I was already in, and it helped me develop that, that role more. Uh, I, I came in with a natural interest in the way that inquiry learning works, the way that project-based learning works, but what I didn't necessarily have is good foundational understanding of the philosophies, uh, you know, the, the history, of how people learn that has been studied and written about literally for thousands of years. And, and I came to understand that much better. And I think another thing the program really helped me learn how to do better was to bring a variety of thoughts together and communicate them in a very direct way, uh, more, more so than I, was, than I was doing before. And so I've taken what I learned in the program and have been able to advance the work that I was doing. Uh, at the time, I was on the board and I was the board chair of a STEM nonprofit in San Antonio, Texas. And I am now on the staff of that nonprofit as the chief learning officer. And in fact, I helped us as the director, I helped us merge with a startup museum in town that uh, has really increased the strength of both organizations. And then as part of my research, uh, I was able to work with people that I had met before the program and during the program. And I published my first book, which is called STEM in the Technopolis, which combines these ideas of how people learn with how cities develop and how the challenges of cities make for rich content for learning experiences. And the, the entire program, the PhD program, really helped me develop that capability. So the way I found my current role is I helped start the nonprofit that I work for today, uh, myself and some colleagues uh, co-founded a nonprofit in San Antonio called uh, Systemic. Uh, we had a main founder. I was one of the co-founders. And Systemic is very much in the space that I find interesting, uh, thinking about STEM education, about project-based learning, 
uh, but thinking about how that affects what is going on in a city, how the challenges of the city can help drive those learning experiences, and how those same students can then learn and become uh, leaders in the city, can enter careers related to STEM, uh, which is of particular interest in San Antonio in several spaces, uh, in particular around cybersecurity, which was the main topic of my dissertation. So I was already working in that nonprofit and through the work that I did in my PhD program was able to further develop that work and I'm now the chief learning officer for a larger, larger organization uh, that is really making a difference uh, in, a, in an area of San Antonio with lots of underrepresented students with literally tens of thousands of employees at high tech. Uh, companies and at startups that are within half a mile of the front door of our museum. So one thing I've been very fortunate about in my career is to be part of innovation and entrepreneurship programs and, and not just classic technology and entrepreneurship, but social entrepreneurship and the way you create programs inside of large institutions. And in a, in a very fitting way, uh, the work of a UNT professor and, and his innovation inside of a large institution has benefited me greatly. That professor is Dr. Greg Jones, who is my major professor in the program. And he had the vision back in somewhere around the 2010 timeframe that the PhD in learning technologies already offered at UNT should be offered in a hybrid model. And since 2006, when I graduated from my master's program, I had been looking for a program that would be a good fit for me to pursue my doctorate. And Dr. Jones created that program, and I'm here today because of his vision. Uh, and in a really unexpected uh, development, he passed away uh, unexpectedly right after my graduation. It was within three months of of him walking me across the stage. And, and I really wanna thank Dr. Jones for that innovation. And, and I think it reflects well on UNT and it reflects well on the department that there was room for that kind of creative thinking that allowed someone like me and many of my colleagues in the program uh, to find a path toward earning our doctorate.